What's going on everybody? Fearless Beats here and today we're going to take a look at chopping samples in Ableton. I'm going to give you a few tips and techniques that you can start using right away and you're going to boss up immediately. Let's jump right into this. Alright guys, so for this example I'm just going to drag in a melody that I made earlier onto an audio track. So when you're messing with samples, some of them are going to have the BPM on them and some of them are not. So this one right here is an 80 BPM. So I'm going to go ahead and change my BPM here to match that. Now let's say we didn't want it to. Let's say we want it to go a little faster. Let's say 95 BPM is more in our ballpark. <clears throat> we're going to set it to 95 BPM. We're going to double click on here. It's going to open up this pane right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure it's warped. You double click that warp button and then, then it should match the BPM that your song is at. <clears throat> and what you're going to want to do is actually bring that back to the original starting point. Okay, so the best options that I like to use on my audio is I like to select Complex Pro and I also turn the envelopes all the way down here. So this is going to play it in the best this is going to play it in the best way possible. So the, some other things that we can talk about here is the transposition. You can transpose it up or down, semitones, or octaves. So if you wanted a full octave, you would go up or down 12. And it's going to keep it in line because we have it in Complex Pro. So it's not going to stretch it or degrade it. It's going to keep it right where it's at. So you have the option to transpose it and make it sound a little bit different that way. You can also turn up the volume on the sample itself. It actually changes the waveform. You can make it bigger or smaller with this as well. So if you have a sample and you love how it sounds, but it's just not smacking the way you want it to, you have more than one place to turn up the volume. You don't just have the master mixer control. You can also change it here. <clears throat> Some other cool things here is you can reverse the sample pressing this button. It's going to take a second and then it'll reverse the whole sample for you if you ever are interested in doing that. Okay guys, so you can have you have warp markers set in here. So basically what Ableton does is it finds all the transients in your sample and it marks these little spots in here. You'll see these little hitches all along here. So if your sample is not lining up correctly, you can go in here and you can actually change the markers to fit correctly. So you can also, you know, set your grid here to whatever you need to look at because once you start zooming in, it gets really tiny and hard to tell. So that grid's nice to use. And if any parts of your samples just aren't hitting in the right spot, they're a little funky, you can mix it there. So when you're going to splice up your sample, let's say there's parts in it you don't want, you're going to want to know the hotkeys. So if you find a part, like let's say we don't like this note, you can highlight where it starts and you can zoom in to find the start of that note. So let's say that's the note right there. And say it starts like right here Let's zoom in a little more boom that's where it starts if you hold down control e or if you have a mac you would use command e and it'll splice it at that spot for you you could go in and you could find the ending of that note let's say it's right here and you could splice it in that spot you could get rid of it you could bring it back if you wanted to and you can mess with it from there so here's a really quick example if i could like chop up one of your samples really quick just to give it some flair and add some difference in it. And obviously that is just the very minimum. You could definitely take different notes and switch them around. You could transpose different notes. So really quick, I want to talk about one more way you can chop and splice your samples. I'm not going to go into crazy detail about it, but I do want to mention it. One other thing you can do right here so in your instruments here, you can use Simpler. So go ahead and put Simpler on a MIDI track, and then we can we can use this same melody inside of Simpler. So let's find it again. So once you have your melody loaded into Simpler, there's a splice mode right here, which I like to use every now and again. If you turn on splice, you can mess with the transients a little bit, get the sensitivity down, and start playing it on your keyboard. All right, so really quickly, I just threw this down. You can see that you can make like really cool things with that.
So you can see you could come up with really cool ideas just by laying it down really quick. All right, guys, so that was just a really, really quick overview of how to use the splice mode. But if you're more interested in finding out about that, I also have a tutorial on that. I'm going to leave a card right now at the top of the video so you can go check that out. It's going to go into detail on how you can use the splice mode and simpler there to just dominate your sampling game and guys that wraps up this tutorial on how to start chopping samples inside of Ableton and guys if you have any questions let me know below I will get to them as soon as possible hope you like this one and guys subscribe to me if you're new here it really helps the channel and I would really appreciate it and leave a like on this video or a dislike if you didn't like it stay safe out there fam and I'll be seeing you again real soon peace out